New details now in a Target 12 investigators exclusive left behind. Advocates are pushing Rhode Island lawmakers to establish an independent office that would monitor K through 12 special education throughout the state. The bill passed the Senate earlier this year, but died in the House. As we reported yesterday, roughly 90% of third grade special education students failed state standardized tests in 2021. Target 12 investigator Tolly Taylor joins us now with the details. The special education office would be independent from the Rhode Island Department of Education. Supporters say it could help parents, students, and even teachers address questions and investigate concerns with special education services statewide. Right now, the Rhode Island Department of Education is in charge of investigating special education complaints. Joanna Skokie, state director of a nonprofit that advocates for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities, wants to change that. Because the State Department of Education can't watch itself, can it? State Senator Melissa Murray agrees with Skokie. Murray introduced a bill in January that would create an independent office for special education, intending for it to be a resource for children, parents, teachers, and others. We modeled it on um, the Office of the Child Advocate for DCYF. It's also um, to help hold right accountable to make sure that they're meeting those deadlines for those special education kids. Rachel Marsh has two children at South Kingstown schools, while Michael Green's son attends Warwick schools. All three are in special education. Both parents say they've had issues with their districts not providing federally guaranteed special education services, and they like the sound of an independent office. If there was, uh, you know, a place that everyone knew about and, and could leverage, um, I think that would be tremendous. I, mean, I think having someone in your corner to help is a really important thing. But while the bill passed the Senate, it died in the House. Skokie says she knows why. You know who's against this bill? The superintendents and the commissioner of education. Rhode Island School Superintendents Association spokesperson Tim Ryan says the association opposed an early version of the bill, but openly supported the final version that passed the Senate. Ride spokesperson Victor Morenti says Ride opposes the legislation in part because it would add another layer of bureaucracy for parents to navigate only for them to come back to Ride for formal disputes. House spokesperson Larry Berman says the House looks forward to revisiting this issue in January. Senator Murray says she plans to introduce the same bill at the start of the General Assembly session in January. With the Target 12 investigators, I'm Tolly Taylor, 12 News.